The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. Appeals to the masculine ideal of the bronzed athletic Australian man. Calls to duty to defend the honour of nation, family and civilization. Celebrations of mateship and the promise of adventure. Then desperate depictions of injured Anzacs in need of help. Men were urged to enlist. Women were urged to let them go. Conscription debates targeted women and divided the nation. Amid the rising cost of living, unemployment and class tensions, the general strike of 1917. Returned men found their jobs taken, their sense of self uncertain. Peace crucified on the standard of the war god Mars, a sculpture never installed the model lost. In the delicate crochet of the body of the Anzac, sons, fathers, brothers, sweethearts, tangible talismans for the families at home. must exhort you to grant full citizen privileges to every one of us coloured soldiers who voluntarily wore His Majesty's uniform in active service. We fought for freedom and our much cherished British justice. We appeal to the RSL to approach the state government to aid us in this request. We will not remain humble and servile to the Aborigines Protection Board. Therefore, why not offer to every faithful ex-service Aborigine the hand of friendship and goodwill and tender to him equal rights with the white community? Returned men were missing limbs, blind, mentally damaged, their youth and health sacrificed to war.
He died for freedom and honor. A badge for mothers and widows. A badge with a bar for each son who served. A medal to shield a man from accusations of shirking. A medallion to raise funds for maimed returned soldiers. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down 